Okay, this is just a really quick video on how to get the keyboard working on the on a Mi phone if it stops showing when you're trying to click into like an input box. So I'm using the Redmi Note Pro 10 here. And the issue I always have, it seems to happen a lot with WhatsApp. Um, you'll open the app and then you click in to start typing a message and the keyboard just decides not to show up. So up until now I'd been rebooting my phone every time because I just couldn't get the keyboard to show. But um, what, I, what I've been doing now is just a kind of a quick fix. It's not really like a permanent fix, but it seems to be working for longer than it has been before. So all I do is pull down the um, uh, pull down the notification shade and then jump up into the settings cog up in the corner. And then if you scroll down to the additional settings and then jump into that menu and then under here you've got languages and input and if you jump into that you've got the current keyboard and the ones I've got set up on there um, you've the current keyboard is the, the one you want to use so I've got Google voice typing and Gboard if you jump into manage keyboards you can essentially toggle toggle them on and off um, all I've been doing basically is uh, to get it working again I just turn off Gboard and then turn Gboard back on or you can come into here and you can see it's changed the current keyboard to Google voice typing because Gboard wasn't available jump in switch that back to Gboard and then when you go back to your app it will be working again you'll just get your keyboard back and like I say it's not a uh, you know it's not a permanent fix but it's a lot quicker than rebooting the phone every time which is what I've been doing up until now um, I'm hoping it's just a me UI bug and they'll fix it but um, yeah anyway in the meantime that's what I've been doing so hopefully that helps if you're having the same issue um, if you've if you found this helpful then uh, please give the video a like